Hey folks, Ashley All Things Industry .com, and uh, so now we have the our Hyrax or palatal expander in my hands, back from the lab, and it comes like this. And here's the key that typically comes with it. So the patient is, or the patient's parents, every they're gonna be able to place it, place a little key in the hole, which is definitely a lot more difficult intraorally than it is in the cast. And they're gonna sort of be like this, and they'll push it posteriorly. So each turn is 0.25 millimeters. So we're gonna loot this down with um, some sort of glass ion or cement, and then uh, we'll send the patient home. Now, we can either do rapid palatal expansion or we can do slow palatal expansion. And the difference is how many times the patient turns this per day. Now we're getting expansion of the mid palatal suture, and in this case we're trying to obtain a little more uh, anterior room for uh, tooth number seven or one two. So we can do this because the mid palatal suture is not ossified, and it typically up until about the age of 15 to 18, at that point then we can't do this type of expansion. If we replace this kind of um, metal piece in a patient's mouth uh, when they're an adult, it'll just start tipping teeth. It's tipping teeth now, but it's also uh, removing, taking the, uh, the bone with it, moving it, possibly a translatory uh, bodily movement. So what we're going to do is normally, I've tried one of these before, or a few of them, with um, rapid palatal expansion. So we'll send the patient home, they one turn in the morning, one turn at night. So that would give us uh, 0.5 millimeters per day. So we're going to try uh, this article here, uh, which is an angle orthodontist, is interesting. It was talking about slow expansion. So, and one of the things that they found is that they, where is it? So they had, uh, after a number of years, say approximately four years, they had 80 and 98% stability. So with slow palate expansion, so one one turn every two days, you're still going to um, retain it for the same amount of time as rapid palate expansion, but they were able to expand the arch and not have to place, um, they had no relapse or let it, little re relapse and that's one of the concerns with rapid palatal expansion is the uh, relapse of the expansion that you have. So we're going to do this, again, that's gonna be uh, one turn every two days, and we'll see what happens.